I thought the problem with winter would be having not enough light, not having too much. <laughs> I've never had such a difficult time getting the lighting decent in my videos. It's still not very good. I can't. I still have the sun in my eyes, and so if I'm squinting a lot, you know why. <laughs> but uh, I can't get it any better than this in here at the moment. Hi, and welcome back to Ida and her books. I'm Ida, and these are my books. Today I will be telling you my TBR for the winter months, which will be December, January, and February. The first books I'm gonna tell you about are the books I've already started reading, and the first one of those is the Sherlock Holmes book, which I have started during this pre previous period, but I haven't finished it yet. I've read about 50 pages in it, and I just think it's really interesting. I just... I never really feel like reading this one instead of like fiction, um, but I really find it interesting to read this one and I really want to get through it. Next books, book I already started as well is Skuggvandare by Magnus Norin. Third book in a series I started this summer that I have read like a few pages in. I'm on page 17. But I'm just not really feeling it right now, so I've been not reading this one very much. But I still want to finish it soon, so I don't forget what happened in the first two books. So I can finish the entire series and return them to my sister. Third book I also borrowed from my sister, and it is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. And uh, I am um, 145 pages into this book, and I think it's really interesting, it's really good. And I can't wait to finish this one. Fourth book I'm currently reading is Sherlock Holmes Selected Stories by Arthur Conan Doyle. I'm on the third story in this book, so I've read The Speckled Band, The uh, Silver Blaze, and now I'm on The Design of Four. So I'll hopefully be finishing this one as well. Next pile of books I have borrowed from other people, and so I want to read them during this Christmas. First one is Weird Sisters by Terry Pratchett. I borrowed this from a friend after discussing the Terry Pratchett books with him. And... Um, Coming to the conclusion that I will probably like this very much, and this one is a good place to start. I have no idea what it's about, apart from being a part of the Discworld series. Second book I have borrowed is Odin's Barn by Siri Petersen. Um, <clears throat> if you watched my 5 star predictions video, I bought the second book in this series for myself, and I borrowed the first one for a friend, and so I'm gonna read those two during this period. I might borrow the third one as well from her, depending on how I like the series. The next few books I borrowed from another friend, and the first one is Christ The Crystal Warriors by William R. Forston and Greg Morrison. And it's uh, some sort of old uh, sci-fi. Next book I borrowed from him is The Blue Sword by Robin McKinley, also more classic story. I'm not trying not put the shadows over my face. Um, no idea what, what either of these are is about, but I'm excited to read them. Last one, Dragon Bound by Thea Harrison, which uh, is also borrowed from the same person and also some type of old fantasy, I think this one is. Groundbreaking Paranormal Romance. Yeah, so maybe more fantasy than sci-fi like the other two. So these three I'm very excited to read because I've been recommended them by a friend. During this period I am thinking of hosting a... Uh, hosting a 24-hour readathon for myself where I will be reading the Rebel of the Sands trilogy uh, since I now have all three books so I want to reread the first two so I can get to the third one and I'm really excited about that and so I'm gonna read all three of these books during this period. The Rebel of the Sand series is about a girl called Amani, who uh, in the first book decides that she needs to leave home for different reasons and teams up with a stranger who shows up in her town and uh, they go on this uh, huge adventure together and uh, they are really good, I really like them, I, I really enjoyed the first two and I'm excited to reread them and finally read the conclusion to this story. So next book I want to read this period is Röta, the second book in the series Odin's Barn. Uh, Korpringarna is the name of the series. Uh, like I said, I borrowed the first one from a friend, so I'm gonna try to get to this one as well. Next series I want to read is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Now I'm getting <laughs> this in my ass. 
uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I am trying to convince my partner to read this with me. We might read them out loud because that would be fun. Because uh, he ha also hasn't read them, even though these copies are his and he's had them quite a while. And so we're gonna maybe read them together, otherwise I just read them myself. Next book I want to read is Slutet by Mats Strandberg. And this one is a sort of... Um, it's called pre-apocalyptic, so it's like it's about to be a dystopia, but it's not yet. Um, about... Um, a world where everyone knows that in a month uh, everyone will die, I think, and uh, how they use the time they have left. Sounds really interesting, and uh, I really like this author. I read uh, the Circle trilogy, which he wrote with Sara Bermak Elfgren, and I'm really excited to read more from him. Next, I have my mandatory different genre books that I'm trying to get through so I can read all the books on my shelves. So first one from my historic fiction shelf, I have Labyrinthen by Kate Moss. Kate Mossy? Moss? Uh, still don't know how that's pronounced. Kate Moss. And uh, I have not really any clue what it's about, but it's huge and uh, it sounds interesting. So I want to read that. From the contemporary shelf, I want to read Jung Elo Kipov by Adrian Conan Doyle. And I got this book just because it's uh, written by the son of Arthur Conan Doyle and I want to see what he writes about. So I want to get to this one as well during this winter. Third book is the crime mystery novel and that is Mord i Dalarna by Stig O. Blomberg. And uh, this is a Swedish crime novel. Yeah. I'm not really sure what it's about, but it sounds intriguing and uh, I want to read that. Last book on my TBR, it's just getting bigger and bigger per season, is Magnus Nordin, Midsommarmoden, which I bought recently for two reasons. First, it's a new Magnus Nordin book, and you all know how much I love Magnus Nordin. Second, because Midsommarmoden sounds like Midsommar Murder, and it is one of my absolute favorite TV series. I have so many of the DVDs because I still collect DVDs for reasons. And uh, yeah, so I bought this one recently and I really want to get to it as soon as possible. I'm not entirely sure if this is also uh, horror or um, thriller, but it sounds like it. It might be more of like crime mystery, but because it's Magnus Nordin, I put it on the horror shelf, and so we can count on this as the horror book of this period. So that is all of the books I'm gonna be reading this period. 21 books. Let me know in the comments if it's uh, if there's any book you want me to um, read first, if you have any of your favorites that I'm about to read. Um, let me know what you think of them. Please, no spoilers. Um, that is all I had for today, and I will see you in my next video. If you want to subscribe, please do. I upload on Saturdays and uh, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!